Hi everyone, this is Anjal Soni. Welcome to my channel. Though Tableau provides a range of color palettes, uh, but there are scenarios when you want to build a dashboard which is tailored to a specific brand or uh, the client provides you color specifications sometimes. In such scenarios, to match the client requirements, you would need to create custom color palettes. And this is uh, what we are going to discuss in detail today. Tableau provides three kinds of color palettes, categorical, sequential and diverging. Categorical color palettes, if assigned to a discrete field, irrespective of whether it's a dimension or a measure, it yields different colors for each field value. Sequential color palettes give you the intensity of one single color based on the uh, field values. Diverging is similar to sequential, just it functions on two colors. So it shows you intensity ranging from one color and it ends at the intensity of some other color. Now let's understand how you can create custom color palettes for each of these three categories. First step is to go to the Tableau repository location. Usually your Tableau repository resides in your documents folder. Um, if you're not sure, then just go to this file option and click on repository location. From here, copy the address, close the um, box and go to Windows Explorer and you can paste the address there and you'll land uh, in the My Tableau Repository folder. Here you'll observe you have something called as preferences. So this is the file which will enable you to create custom color palettes. Second step is to open the preferences file in Notepad. So right click on preferences and open with Notepad. Currently, there are no customizations in this file. Uh, this is an HTML file, hence the tags. You can see here workbook and the closing tag for workbook. Uh, so you'll have to ensure that whatever syntaxes and customizations you make here should be HTML based. So uh, the first syntax is already there, workbook tag. Second tag should be preferences tag. So let's add preferences starting and closing tag. Now the syntax for each of the color palettes, the first uh, few words would remain same. I will tell you where the difference comes. So um, we'll start with open a tag color palette name. So name keyword which allows you to assign a name to your color palette. I'm writing categorical custom palette. So this name will help you identify this palette in the list of the color palettes that you get in Tableau. Next to name should be your type keyword. So this type allows you to mention which kind of color palette you want to create, whether it should be a categorical, sequential or diverging. So we are starting with categorical color palette. So uh, the keyword for uh, categorical color palette is regular. So close the tag and let's close the color palette tag. All right. Now, in between this color palette tag, you'll have to mention the color codes in the HTML format, which would be, which would also be your uh, hexadecimal color codes. So I have a few examples here. Uh, I have some color codes for all the three uh, categories. So I'm copying the color code for uh, categorical here. All right. So. I'll just format this a little bit. So as you see, within color palette tag, we have new tags called as color. 
color opening tag and color closing tag between this we have our color hexadecimal written so this will give me a color palette based on these hexadecimal codes so let's save this file now now the third step is to go to tableau and restart it if it's already open just remember for custom color palettes it is a prerequisite that you have to restart your tableau or open a new instance of it to be able to see the um, changes that you have made in your preferences file so i will restart it now the next step is to check whether the uh, color palette has got assigned to the list or not so i'll quickly bring ship mode to color uh, let's edit the colors open the list and scroll towards the last here you can see categorical custom color palette so uh, usually your custom palettes will appear in the last after all your default color palettes are listed so you can assign this palette and use it further the similar way you have to do for sequential and diverging let's copy the uh, color palette tag and the type for sequential would be ordered sequential and similarly uh, we'll follow the process uh, which we did for regular um, the type for uh, diverging would be ordered diverging i have the code written here so i'll, I'll directly copy paste it all right as you can see uh, we have ordered sequential we have ordered diverging we have the color codes here for a uh, sequential as you know it works on single color and these are the different in intensities of that same color for order diverging it ranges between two colors so we have different color codes uh, for two colors the basically the different intensities for those two colors now let's assign meaningful name to the sequential and uh, diverging color palettes as well sequential and diverging the preferences file looks complete let's save it go back to tableau and restart it all right so let's create a new sheet and check for the new color palettes sequential and diverging color palette is meant for uh, continuous fields so let's use sales and let's use profit over color uh, let's deaggregate the measures let's go to color edit colors and towards down all right so we have sequential color palette apply i'll move this a little bit to right so you can see here we have sequential and now i'm applying diverging apply all right so this is the process of doing custom color palettes for categorical sequential and diverging that's all for this video thank you